ladies you are definitely the prize i'm getting ready to talk about you know women and them being the prize in a relationship and you know self-worth and all of that good stuff so before we get started definitely make sure you like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time i release a video and yeah let's get into it <laughs> This video is powered by King Brittany Chanel Couture on teespring.com. So if you like my merch and things that I wear on my video, you know, as far as my merch, definitely make sure you check out my, te my Teespring store. Excuse me. It's underneath every single video, the shelf anyway. And also I will put the link in the description box below. And it's available also on the store tab on YouTube. Let's get into the video. Honeys, I hope y'all are having a beautiful day wherever you are. I hope that y'all are staying encouraged. And um, I just wanted to bring y'all like an uplifting message, um, you know, today or whatever. There's so much going on um, on the channel. Y'all know that we've been talking about relationships and self-worth and that sort of thing. So I felt like this message was perfect for that. Now, before we get started, I just want to specify that the most high is who I serve and the things that I believe and that I subscribe to are going to fall in, into alignment or fall in line with his scriptures and his word. You get what I'm saying? Because I have to specify that because there's so many people that subscribe to so many different things and you are so free to do what you want to do, honey. He say, choose ye this day, okay, who you going to serve. So I just have to let that be known. But we're going to get into some honey for the tea. If you're new to this channel, honey for the tea represents Yahweh's truth and his promises and how we can apply those things to our everyday life. Um, life sometimes is, you know, up and down, up and down. Um, it's bitter sometimes when you're going through situations that are is uncertain. But the one thing that gives you hope is Yah's word and his, his promises is like honey, okay? You got to just keep pushing forward and believe you get what i'm saying so i had to specify that before we get into it because you know we get ready to talk about relationships and i look at it from a certain perspective i don't i don't have a perspective on relationships the way a lot of people in the world does and i feel like because people don't um are not in alignment with their role is why you have so much uh i would say chaos in relationships and stuff like that because you have people trying to do what the other person is supposed to do you feel me so uh one of those things is women are the prize okay and i fully believe that okay i fully believe that um women are valuable they are precious jewels and daughters of the most high yah and i believe that we need to start you know as women valuing ourselves a little bit more and recognizing what our role is supposed to be as far as the divine role you're supposed to be a wife a mother you get what i'm saying a daughter of the most high and when your dad our father um yah is the king um why should you settle for anything less than what he has for you so i want to talk about some things right a lot of times i feel like women um you know they get into relationships and they don't realize prior to them getting in a relationship you know dudes end up doing some women wrong and stuff like that and they can't understand how that even happened is because the woman a lot of times didn't realize that she was the prize you, you'll have women that will go and pursue a man okay and you know that in the scripture let me let me read to y'all the scripture so y'all you know so we on one accord okay let me read to you the scripture Proverbs 18, 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. So what that tells you right there is that you are a good thing. You are that prize. You are something that is uh, supposed to be uh, earned, right? Because typically back in that, that biblical time, if you think about it, a man would see a woman and he would have to go to her family and you know request or to you know bear come bearing gifts and you know to ask permission if he could be with that woman 
And it's just like we have so many women today. Like, I mean, I was doing like the uh, the Latoya Forever video talking about how there's so many women today that they're so not feminine and they fall into the category of trying to do the role of the man and not allowing the man to be the man in a relationship. And so they are confused when, you know, the relationships is not working out. The number one way they do this is number one, they're not, you know, feminine because they're not living up to that. Like I said, their role, like they do stuff like pursue the man. And when you start pursuing a man, the number one thing that's going to happen is he's going to devalue you. And how that happens is if you are a woman and you just be approaching probably men and you just, he wasn't paying attention to you, but you kind of let it be known that uh, you felt like he was, you know, all of that. A dude's ego is going to go through the roof at that point. They're going to be like, oh, I got shorty in the bag. I got her. It was no work put in. You know, she just came to me. So it really was no challenge. I didn't really have to move off this chair. You know, if they sitting down, I really wasn't interested in the first place. You feel me? But since you here, I might as well use this, use this as a convenience. A lot of women don't realize that. They put themselves in the convenience category, okay? Now, let me give you an example of this, right? When you pursue a man and you don't make the man work for you, don't make the man chase you, don't make the man uh, live up to any uh, expectations because you're not viewing yourself as the prize. Like he got to, you know, work to finally be able to say that you bear his last name, that you bear his children. Let me tell you what happens. You got a Dunkin' Donuts out here on every corner, honey. Dunkin' runs America, right? But it's not exciting because it's one inconvenience on every corner. A convenience store, honey, anybody could come up in a convenience store, honey. They open late. Eat great even late, honey. Wendy's. So when you're that available, you devalue yourself because you're not viewing yourself as the prize. You see, like in the scripture, it's and then too, like a lot of women, they focus on things that are not making them be viewed as the prize. And I, I talk a bit about this. Like I told y'all, like um, I shared a little bit about how I was in wife training and why I'm, I'm starting to do certain stuff because the first step in viewing yourself as a prize um, is working on yourself, loving yourself, right? Getting your relationship order with, in order with um, Abaya, right? Because you start viewing yourself different. You start viewing yourself as a precious gem, as a daughter of Zion. You start viewing yourself as a virtuous woman, a rare, you know, a precious, rare gem, more valuable than rubies. You start to view yourself, it's, and it's not you feeling like you obnoxious or anything like that. It's not like a, a vain, um, carnal perspective. It's just what, you know, Abaya says in the word. You start, you know, think about how Esther, you know, Esther prepared herself. She prayed, you know, she got herself right with her oils. She started, you know, focusing on her wellness all around, like spiritually, the spiritual match the physical, okay? Because a lot of times you'll have people... They put a lot of emphasis on the physical, but they don't put a lot of energy into the spiritual. And then they, they, they are uh, baffled at the results that they're getting. You know, they're getting people, you know, that they're just casting their pearls amongst swine or they just, what, what do I want to say? They just don't know who they are. Because if you know who you are, you're not going to talk. Okay, think about it as a job, y'all. If you know that you done went to school and you did all of this, you're not going to take a certain amount of money because you know what you could bring to the table. That's how women need to view themselves. You need to know who you are, know what you bring to the table, and you don't let nobody play you. Now, back to the convenience thing that I was saying. A Dunkin' Donuts is on every corner, but a man who really want, you know, a good, good donut that tastes nice, that tastes good, that is quality, quality coffee. He might have to take that drive over to the Krispy Kremes. It might be on the next town over. You feel me? 
he that find if he got to go on an adventure to find that good thing think about it Dunkin Donuts I could just pull up and ride to any Dunkin Donuts there's one on every corner like you could ride to a Wendy's you could ride to a McDonald's there's one on every corner but if he really wants food that's gonna edify him uh like okay prime example you got a Kroger in the Publix on every corner you know depending on where you live right but if you want some real quality food you're gonna have to number one pay more money and you're gonna have to go on an adventure to find it honey uh trader joe's ain't just down the block they don't have a trader joe's on every corner whole foods ain't on every corner it's in certain type of areas where only certain type of people have access to those areas and women need to start valuing themselves to where only certain type of um act men or people relationships friends could even have access you get what i'm saying everybody cannot have access you feel what i'm saying like as a woman that views herself as a precious jewel or gem daughter of the most high yah it would be that only the divine man that abba yah sends you would be the one that has access to you or you just you you don't even communicate with people that's not even talking things of right because it's like who do you like who do you who do you think you like you kind of like who do you think i am you must have miscalculated but it's because you have a lot of women today that like i said they focus on the physical they try to i feel like um in a lot of ways kind of reel men in with the physical and the physical stuff that they are presenting uh is attracting uh, I would say a man that's not necessarily moral. Like they'll attract the man with something that's not of righteousness, right? And then be confused that the man is only viewing the woman as a convenience. It's just something like a, a object. Like it's just something that's I could have that. You feel what I'm saying? But you, this is not every man because every man is not an unrighteous man. But I'm saying that if a man does not have to work for something or earn something they're going to treat it just like anything right you're not really careful with your uh what, what kind of car you're not really careful with a, a kia but you're going to be careful with a lambo you feel what i'm saying you're going to want to work harder to get the lambo a lot of other women they have this concept they don't even entertain men that's not even on a, a level that they feel like is going to uh elevate them or bring them to a level that they want to be on because they view themselves as a prize when you make yourself like a convenience it's like almost like ramen like roman noodles to where you you know accept anything which i'm gonna get to that in a minute you accept anything or you accept a certain type of low level low vibrational low frequency type of man and it's kind of like the convenience of it all is like roman noodles and then eventually when he get on you see that he goes for the one that he views as filet mignon but because you made yourself accessible and he didn't have to work for that it was just a quick microwavable uh type of time or you know cook a little a quick little 15 on the stove he didn't really value the situation and i think that a lot of women you know if we realize you know who we are you get what i'm saying especially in the kingdom what our role is our divine role is um we would be i would say more i would i would say more careful and the reason i'm saying this is because women we have a really valuable role um in the kingdom okay um number one like i said you are a wife and a mother to your children and I feel like the enemy has been mad about this since the beginning of time, since the uh, garden, when he felt like Eve was the one who got him banished because he he went fooling with he went fooling with Eve, and when the situation happened with Adam, you know Eve kind of convinced Adam they ate the you know the forbidden the fruit, and did you notice in the scripture? Adam was like, you know, that woman that you get, God was like, not going for it. He was like, I put you, man, 
in a position and you should have told her what I told you. So it's kind of like the enemy is upset about that because he he probably most likely blames the woman for all of that happening to him, being banished and the rest of that. And then also a woman birthed the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. So women have a very, very vital role in the kingdom. And that's why, you know, it's so important to realize who you are. You are the prize. You are the good thing. And you rather, it was a good quote that I seen on social media today that even prompted this, y'all. You rather adjust to somebody's absence than to put up with disrespect because when you put up with disrespect it depletes you out your energy it makes you you know it opens up the door to things like low self-esteem and all kind of other stuff and you are not realizing who you are because that man that's doing you know the stuff that he's doing you know that's low vibrational or low frequency or whatever that you you know chose to lower your standards for I'm going to tell you what um, the most high, you know, thinks about the man. Any man that is out here, you know, low vibrational, low frequency, not living up to his role, they, it's going to be consequences for that man. You feel, me? you feel what I'm saying? As it was consequences for all of the men in the scriptures who, when God left them, you know, his plan and his, what he told them to do and they decided to bear off, it was consequences. Just think about it, right? A lot of these men, they just do this convenience type of stuff in, the, in this day and time, right? And you see the punishment of it all. You see the punishment of child support. Because in the scripture, it talks about if a man, you know, gets a woman um, prego or pregnant, he is supposed to, number one, marry that woman so that it's not bringing her shame and dishonor. And, you know basically give money to her family as a bride prize because if not you are what is called in the scripture i believe like you you basically a vile later that's that's what it's looked as and i when i find the scripture i'll put it up on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about but you're viewed a certain type of way in the eyes of um the most high you're not viewed in a favorable way that's why it says he that findeth a wife you know, obtains favor from the most high because you're doing what he left you to do. You're doing, you know, the mandate of go forth and multiply. You're doing, you know, you know, uh, you're following his scriptures and the principles that he has for you. He really doesn't like you straying and, um, you know, giving yourself so freely and mortgaging yourself off with this person, that person, because there's certain people, like I said, that they serve um i talked about this on this channel before they serve other gods and y'all know that yah is a jealous god he's not going for that just think about um samson think about you know how he started messing with delilah think about solomon solomon you know the wisest man he got he got all of those wives and got all off track you feel me so when you are dealing with men ladies you need to know who you are before you start dealing with men because the enemy will send you know people to get you off track he will send people that know that maybe you don't know who you are because you haven't looked at the scriptures you may not have been um you know somebody may not have spoken life into you or you know any any of those things when you take care of yourself and your wellness first you know this is an easy concept to understand that you are the prize you don't have to be out here being mistreated by no man you don't have to be disrespected you don't have to put up with any of that and any man doing that is an unrighteous man it's going to be consequences for that man if that if that man is doing that to you and you can take a stand and you don't have to deal with that at all whether you in a relationship married you don't have to put up with that at all because the most high talks about what you deserve he talks about how the man should view you if you a man's uh wife you should be his delight he's commanded 
to love you like Christ loves the church. He's commanded to do that, okay? Uh, I don't think uh, the Most High asked you if that's what you wanted to do. I don't think if you feel, I don't think he said if you feel like it, go ahead and go go forth and multiply. If you feel like loving her today, if you feel like honoring your husband today, go ahead and do that. No, it's a command. It's a mandate, okay? Um, and when we, I feel like as children of the Most High, when we bear off of his scripture and the words that he left, like we show him that we love him by, you know, hearing him. When you, when I say hear in the scripture, hear doesn't mean like, oh, hear, like it means obey. It's kind of like your parents say, I know you heard me. It's not like, are you physically, you, you physically heard me. It's you better do what I told you to do because I know that you heard me and this is what I'm mandating you to do. You feel me? But we are humans. We have free will. And sometimes people want to get it wrong. But you as a woman, I want you to know that you are a daughter of the Most High. You are a daughter of the King. You deserve what he, he told you that you're supposed to have. And as a good thing, you're not going to have a good thing just, you know, thrown about. You're not going to mistreat a good thing. You're going to work hard to number one, uh, you know, it says he who find of a wife obtains favor, right? So you're going to work hard. A man, if he has to find you, that means that Abaya does not need any help for you to find your man either. That means you chill. God could send your man, honey, at the grocery store. He could, he could, he could put your man in any type of position but the man has to take notice of you because when he takes notice of you, he's going to rise to the occasion to not mishandle, to not mistreat you and to respect you because you are something that he sees that he's like, I want, I want to love. I want to treat that like that's a good thing. You feel me? When you throw yourself and you're just pursuing men, they going to treat you like that convenience store on the corner. Like, oh, I'll be around there. You know, it's close to the house. Something, you know, I could get to. Do I really want it? Or he might treat you, let's take, for example, like a gated community. Everybody don't have access to a gated community. They view those houses um, as top notch, right? Typically, uh, when you see a gated community. Honey, security, you pull up to a gated community, honey, uh... Where I be at, honey, they be like, honey, these are 700000 Go ahead and back yourself on out. <laughs> Everybody's not allowed in certain areas, honey. But that's what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not you know, getting y'all... I don't want y'all to think about it in a monetary sense. I want y'all to think about it in a, in a sense of self-worth, okay? You are a daughter of the Most High. So, you know... Yah is not going to hold any withhold any good thing from those who walk upright. So if he's calling you a good thing, who is that man to 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 go against what he said? You feel me? So if you are supposed to, your divine role is supposed to be a wife. You work and you prepare for that. You work on yourself. You work on your fitness. You work on yourself as a person. You work on your attitude. You work on your spiritual relationship with the Father. And you wait for him to send that man to you. Because when you try to help him out, we already know that there's these fiascos and things that happen. You know, men, that's when they start to be, you know, egotistical. They start to mistreat because they're used to going out and getting what they really want. Okay. And if it's just there, it's kind of like, you know, do you really want bologna when you could really have, you know, steak? You feel me? Like, you got to think about it like that. Like, don't make yourself the bologna. Don't make yourself the Roman noodles. Don't make yourself the convenience store on the corner. He needs to take that adventure because he will value it more. It's kind of like when your kids got to work for an allowance, they, they value that money a little bit more because you ain't freely giving it to them. You feel me? It's the same. Like, Yah is not freely giving his daughters to people that's unworthy. You feel me? They have to rise to the occasion. Meaning that you as a daughter of Yah, 
and you working so that you could be that good thing to your husband when he sends you your husband or you you know somebody wife now you that good thing he needs to be showing you that that's what uh you are so never take never tolerate disrespect or uh you know lower your standards or try to pursue a man because that is ultimately the consequences of that okay um miss king Brittany chanel you already know definitely make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you all soon on the next video thanks so much for watching hey honeys thank you for watching my video and if you haven't definitely make sure you check out my teespring king Brittany chanel couture where you can find my latest merch i upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video